Sammy D right here is gonna be my victim of the day. Victim of the sea. He's gonna learn how to swim. Hey guys, I'm Dalton Smith. And I'm Sam Duggan, and today we're gonna to be teaching you how to ride your slide handboards. We're out here in beautiful Indian Atlantic Beach, and we've got two boards. I've got the Bula, Sam's got the Wedge, and we're gonna show you all the basics. We're gonna get our fins, show you how to put them on, paddling out, catching waves, just everything you need to know to get started on your handboard. So, if you guys are ready, we got some fun waves, we're ready to get started. All right guys, so real quick, we're gonna talk about fins. It's really important to get some good fins. There's different models of hand boards for different waves, but you also have to consider the fins you get. Sam is working with the Churchill Makapoos, and then I've got the Defend Pro models. Uh, another thing that you'll need with your fins so you don't lose your fins that you spent $80 on are some fin savers. Uh, you tie them on to the ankle strap, and then you strap them to your leg. So if you're going out in big conditions, your fins are likely to be ripped off. This is gonna make sure that if they do come off, they're tied to your ankle. So let's go ahead and put them on. So with my fins, they're a little bit lighter weight, but they do have this hard plastic running down the side. So as you're you know, kicking in the water, there's a little bit of give, but they're really stiff. Sam's, the Churchill Makapoos, they're a little bit softer of a rubber and they've got a little bit more bend in them. So I'm just gonna take my foot, put it down in there, and then take the strap over my ankle. That is firm. I don't think it's gonna come off, but if I go in really big surf, I will get some anchors and put them on. Then we're going sliding, bro. Our only other recommendation, Sam will give a really good demonstration right here, is why we don't run with fins on. All right, guys, well, Sam was a little bit overly excited, so he's already in the water, but we wanted to finish this off with the hand strap on your board. Before you get in the water, you're gonna wanna loosen this up. Loosen the second strap up, stick your hand inside of there, and get it to where it's firm, but not cutting off your circulation. They do have leashes for the slide hand board, so when you go get your board, check out the other products and get yourself a leash. So, if you guys are ready, we're gonna get out in the water. So when you guys are out in the water, your feet and your hands are your only method of propulsion. So to catch a wave, your fingers need to be closed. Dig really hard, kick really hard, and then once you feel the wave pick you up, you'll slide all the way to the beach. If you're out in an area where you can stand, stand up, take a break. If you're ever too tired, go to the beach and play it safe. If you're out in an area where you can stand, stand up, take a break, wear yourself out. And if you're ever too tired, go to the beach and play it safe. Sammy D! All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from my left hand over to my right hand. If you go different directions, or if you're left-handed or right-handed, it may be more natural, so try both and see what works for you.